today? Well, today is cold, and I'm in the car again, and I'm heading down the Fossway to Sirencester. I'm going to meet Simon Nuttall and go and see his very, very special Foster A4. See, the great thing about the drive up through the Cotswolds is all of the views, which of course today we can't see. However, here on the right hand side, you can see the old prison at Northleach, just about through the fog. Down the historic uh, and very famous Roman road, the Foss Way, which I think originally went from Exeter to Lincoln or something like that. Anyway, this section we're heading down to Sirencester, and uh, as you can see, it's Roman, it's pretty straight. No, 9691. 9691. It never had a name. I, some people want me to give it a name, but I haven't found one I like sufficiently, and it's sort of, I don't know, it almost seems a shame, isn't it? Because what it is, isn't it? 9691. What was the, uh, what was its history? Um, it was... the New South Wales on the front. So, so it, was, it was ordered, ordered by the John Fowler agent in Sydney for a, a farm for direct traction ploughing, which is why it's got the 20 inch wheels. So it's got four inch wider wheels to enable it to um, not crush, you know, to go on softer ground. Nobody actually knows if it ever did any direct traction ploughing. Um, and it lasted there for some sort of 20 years. And then it went to a gold mine. It went to a, um, a, dre a, a dredge mine, not, a, not an actual sort of underground mine. Um, where it lasted till 1959. Right. So on the other side, one side it says direct traction ploughing, and on the other side it says Cleghorn, Cleghorn dredge or something like that, I can't remember. You ought to know what my own engine says on the side, oughtn't I? Cleghorn Brothers dredge, it says. And I'm still in touch with Stuart Cleghorn, um, who I think is the grandson of the original owners. And I, I'm hoping, I don't know, I haven't told my wife this, but I'm hoping that next year we'll go and see where it came from. Well, I think he's in his 80s, so while he's still alive, I think it'd be good to go and... See where some of his work. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'd like to do. Um, uh, and how did, uh, how, did, how did you go into it? How did I come across it? Well, when you want an engine in this world, you, you know, most of the time they, they go by word of mouth although there's now you know legacy and berrybrook have a little bit more but often the ones that appear for sale on a website are the ones that nobody wants or you know they, they hang around for a bit um, so i just put the word about and um, i had about four three or four engines offered to me and i, I like this one because it's got a brand new boiler the boiler was made in 2015 um, complete new boiler, so right, that's yeah. that's what that's what I liked about it, because uh, it finished working on the dredge in, 20, in 1959, sat in the bush for a while, then it was cosmetically restored, and sat in front of a hospital and painted sort of yellow, uh, painted um, white, green, and blue, I think. Right. Uh, eventually, it reached a set a stage of decrepitude, and it was taken from the hospital, and then a chap brought four engines back in two containers. Wow. Um, uh, there's another one, I, only, I know where another one is, there's another one is, is at Bromham near Devices, um, that's a, also an A4 but it's an A4 road loco so it's a bit bigger, it's still a two speed um, but it's got bigger wheels and just a, you know, the boiler's the same size but it looks bigger, bigger flywheel and a solid flywheel rather than a spoke flywheel. And have you had to do much? No. Since you got it? No, there's always, there's always maintenance. We put the, we put the, um, the quad tracks on. I mean, I, I've put a new steering gear on. You know, I've got a list of things to, uh, that, that's a, that the steering gear was, was worn. Um, and, you know, you know there's all, I, make, I make, make new bits as and, well, as and when I need them. So you've got uh, you've got a hell of a shed here as well, haven't you? Yes, it's quite it's really quite nice. It's an old converted coach house. You can see where they've where here they cut the stone away to be able to get the, the trails in for the horses. And so 
so what's your um, what's your what's your, your uh, activities for the day? What are you uh, what are you partaking in? To, to well, the main job is to is to get her washed out um, and ready for the boiler inspection, which means we're emptying the fire out. We'll then drop the ash pan, take all the washout plugs, pull the engine out, and and, and give her a, a wash through. Um, so Sam and Rich are here to help. I mean, it, I can't pull it out on my own because it, it doesn't. You can't. It, the engine will follow the hill yeah. and will end up in the living van. So you need someone to steer it. Um, but you know, m many hands make light work and all that. Yeah. So what, you'll, you'll, you'll drag it out with the defender. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and push it back in, more importantly, right. afterwards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can yeah. do that. Yes. Actually, I think what I'll do is I'll pass one up to you. Yeah. If you go up in the... on there, you get one... Once you've got one or two out, you can... Probably best to reach through. Uh, you can, I think. Right, now that is number one, two, three, four. So we need to put the other ones, you need to keep them in the same order. Okay. I'll pass this one out to Sam. So that's the one near it. So I'm working towards the towards your side. So that's number. Yeah. So that the one that Rich. So this goes. That goes the other side of it. Yeah. That's number three. Number two. Sorry. Well, that's actually number. Uh, and that's the next one. No, no, this is the final one, the double one that's uh, on. Right on the end. Yep. Will they snack up a little bit more? Yeah, yeah. enough of a view there. Yeah. <laughs> this is the glamorous part of steam engines. That's it. Yeah. Sadly, with the boiler washout in progress, I had to leave. I was out of time. 
but I want to say a huge thank you to Simon for inviting me down and uh, to Sam and Rich both great to meet you all um, and I hope to see you again soon. <laughs>